Davos is with Stannis atop the wall when Jon Snow is called before the king. He questions Jon's loyalty to the Night's Watch because of his time with the wildlings and he was seen taking the body of a girl north of the wall. Later, Davos is present when Mance Rado is executed in the courtyard of Castle Black. Davos is aware that the Night's Watch will choose a new Lord Commander and believes that Sir Alyssa Thorne will win. He tries to convince Jon Snow to accept Stannis's offer of legitimization since Thorne will most likely punish Jon for showing Mance Rayder mercy during the execution. After Jon is elected the new Lord Commander and refuses Stannis's offer, Davos speaks alone with Jon, telling him that Stannis sees something in him, even though it may not be apparent. He asks Ollie to recite a part of the Night's Watch Oath and stops him at the shield that guards the realms of men, telling Jon that it may not just mean protecting the Seven Kingdoms from beyond the wall, but possibly taking part in battles in order to prevent the Seven Kingdoms from suffering, such as the North while under Bolton rule. Davos is present in the common room of Castle Black when Jon Snow informs them of his plan to rescue the wildlings at Hardhome. Later, Stannis informs Davos that it is time to march, but Davos objects and asks him if it is not better to wait for Jon Snow to return from his mission with the wildlings, as they could have thousands more men in their army. Stannis states that they have to move now, before winter arrives in earnest. Selyss and Shireen will join them, as Stannis does not think they will be safe at Castle Black, surrounded by criminals. The following morning, Shireen tells Davos that she wants to see the crypt of Winterfell where all the old kings in the north are buried, to which Davos replies that they must first take the castle from the Boltons. Shireen asks him if there is going to be a battle, and he affirms that she won't be anywhere near it. Selyss approaches them and commands Davos to stop speaking of battles and scaring the child. Shireen claims that she is unafraid, and promises to protect him. Davos rides from Castle Black along with the Baratheon army. Some weeks later, snowstorms have delayed their march to Winterfell, and Davos rides through the camp, observing the troops. Davos enters Stannis's tent and informs him that forty of their horses died the previous night and more will die that night after sunset. The Stormcrows, a group of sellswords they'd hired, have also fled in the night. Davos thinks that they should go back to Castle Black and wait out the weather since they do not have enough food as they cannot open the supply lines until the snow clears. Stannis is vehemently against this and stubbornly tells him that they will not retreat to Castle Black because he will not risk being known as, the king who ran, as he retreated from the Battle of the Blackwater. Winter will soon arrive and if they do retreat, they will be stuck at Castle Black, possibly for several years, waiting for the winter to end. Seeing no other way to convince Stannis otherwise, Davos leaves. After a surprise attack by Ramsay Bolton and his men leaves Stannis's men and supplies decimated, Stannis and Davos realize that they no longer have enough provisions to survive the winter, a journey to Winterfell or a retreat to Castle Black. Stannis subsequently sends Davos to Castle Black to plead with Jon to send some men and supplies, promising Jon enough men to man all 19 castles of the Wall in return, on the basis that as Davos is Hand of the King, John will take more notice of him than a common messenger. He is reluctant, on the basis that as Stannis's hand he cannot abandon his king, but he is convinced to go when reminded he is following his king's command. Davos asks to take Selyse and Shireen with him, but Stannis refuses. Before leaving, Davos visits Shireen one last time and presents her with a wooden stag figure he carved himself, the symbol of her house, as thanks to Shireen for teaching him how to read and turning him into a grown-up mentioning that Mathos tried for years to persuade him to learn to read, but Davos wouldn't listen. Davos bids farewell to Shireen and leaves for the wall, while remaining unaware that Stannis actually sent him away so that he wouldn't interfere with his plan to sacrifice Shireen like he did with Gendry. Upon arriving at the wall, Davos finds Jon unwilling and unable to provide men for Stannis. He instead implores the Lord Commander to ask the wildlings to fight for Stannis, reasoning that they do as Jon asked since he saved their lives. Melisandre then rides into Castle Black, alone. Horrified, Jon and Davos rush to her, asking about the fates of Stannis and Shireen. Melisandre regards Davos with an empty stare, confirming his worst fears.